Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. Now I think this episode has a little bit of a risk of going a little bit too deep into the weeds here, but I want to discuss something that I learned while I was doing some work porting ChiScript to C++ 17. Now if you're a fan of the channel, you know that I am a fan of Lambdas. And in part of my effort to clean up ChiScript's function dispatch mechanism, where I take any type of callable thing, try to automatically deduce the parameter types, then wrap that into something that can be handled at runtime for inside the ChiScript internals, I was deploying if const expr in this code, and I was using some class template uh, deduction guides. But that's a little bit um, more information than you need at the moment. But I have in here this lambda that is called call, and it takes the, well, callable thing and a generic variadic set of parameters, properly sets no except if that's the correct thing to do, and then it forwards the parameters on and calls the callable thing with these parameters. So I use this lambda and I pass it into my core internal things, which unfortunately is using make shared at the moment. And maybe that's something that I'll be able to clean up at some day in the future. But I have the return type and parameters that have already been deduced here, the strongly typed versions of them that I know that I need to be able to pass along from ChiScript land into C++ land. And then I am getting the decal type of this call lambda because I'm passing that into my impl also. And now this is something that might be a candidate for template type deduction in ChiScript, and I still need to take a look at that. But I take that, and then I pass in the actual lambda that I just created. That is a callable thing. And I built this using C17 flags, and I saw that I had a bit of a regression. My binary had now grown to 4 megabytes, and now don't put too much stock in the uh, compile times here because I was doing other things at the same time that this was building. But I started to look back at this code, and I thought, I wonder if it's possible that I am actually overusing the lambda. And that's not something that I have ever really considered before. So I realize that if this is a callable thing that I can simply call as a function here, and now this applies to any function pointer or any callable object. Up here in these if const expert blocks, I am handling things that are member function and member object pointers, which are going to need their own syntax for calling them. But if it's a function pointer or a function object or any other callable thing, then well, this lambda is simply a waste. So I tore the lambda out to see if the code would still work. And with the lambda removed, I basically end up with this code right here, where I am decaying this function type that is being passed in, in case it's a reference or an R value reference or whatever. So I just decay that back to its regular value. And then I am forwarding along the function object so that I get the appropriate copy or move as needed. And then I recompiled to see what would happen. So you can see, now that I've finished this build, that the memory usage hasn't been affected greatly, but the binary size is about 10% smaller. And I will say, just for the record, in performance tests that I ran, the performance is only moderately affected. So generic variadic lambdas and forwards and everything, they do their job just how they're supposed to do them. But it was an extra layer of indirection that the compiler had to deal with somehow. So going back to the version that has this extra overhead, what we're doing is we're explicitly telling the compiler, hey, I'm creating a new type here, and I really want you to deal with it. And so the compiler is having to generate all kinds of new symbols. The symbol table is getting larger. It was having to generate new functions, even if they got inlined later. And it was having to deal with these forwards and the template explosion. And this is right in the core of ChiScript. So I'm just saying, be aware of your Lambda usage. And don't overuse Lambdas when you don't need to, because it can actually lead to significant issues, potentially, when you are 
working in heavily generic code. And just to go back to this again real quick, in case you notice these time differences, this is because the recording software was running while I was doing this build, and it has a significant impact on the performance for the compilation here. So uh, thanks for watching, and just uh, keep your eye out. Think about what you're asking the compiler to do. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.